A real standout performance from the year, I think, is Andrew Scott in this movie. And I mean, we could talk for hours on this podcast about all the movies that have been snobbed from Oscar nominations this year. Um, but I just would love to um, speak about any like real highlights that you found or scenes that you thought, uh, yeah, Andrew really shone in. I mean, the whole film, of course. The whole thing, but there's so much humanity to uh, like anything that I've seen him in. Whether it, even like in Sherlock, which is just not my bag at all, but I saw some of his performance in that and he just doesn't make anything feel silly. And the way that he handles the boyishness of the character when he's around his parents, because he's, he is still being an adult speaking to his parents, but there's boyish things that he, you know, falls into from being around them. And I just thought that that is so subtle and lovely and just handled really well but also um on the other side of it with uh with with harry um the self-conscious nature of the sex scenes uh was some of the most authentic that i've seen mm -hmm. i think um it feels like very universal but like you were saying about your friend ryan also just so great to hear that that is what that feels like to be depicted on screen also mm -hmm. mm. I think for me, the um, my standout bit was, was it the end when he's talking to Harry mm. and he's like, you're here, you're here with me. And it was like that line and he, they're both, he's like trying to be so strong for Harry. And it's obviously also like inside, like distraught. He's just found like, I, I don't know, the love of his life maybe, dead. And he's been strong for him. And I was just like, and it just like broke my heart. And I thought that Andrew Scott just was incredible in that moment and throughout, but that moment in particular, I was just like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you see his character um, uh, back with his parents and um, sort of speaking to them and talking about the way the world is now, and he comes out to his mom, to Claire Foy, and then he also, well, it's sort of noted that the mum tells the dad and then he has that next scene with Jamie Bell. One part that I just think is like the best performance I've ever seen of someone crying um, is when he's speaking to his dad and um, about like the time when he was crying in his room and his dad says, well, I just, I didn't really like to think of you as someone who was getting picked on. I think that, you know, if, if I was at school with you, I probably would have been one of the sort of people that would have, would have picked on you. And then, yeah, Andrew Scott says like, you know, I think I kind of knew that, which is, mm. you know, why it's so painful. And then he starts to apologize and, and it's when Andrew Scott like breaks down in that moment it's just like so real. Like, you know, when you're just watching someone and you can't believe that they're acting, like they're pretending, because it's just like, what you're seeing is like, is like, yeah, it's not fiction. It's just like so real. Truly, yeah, a masterclass. 